Hey guys, so for the last couple weeks, I haven't really been finding any silvers in these boxes. I got another one right here, and I'm hoping that there's something in here to show you. So let's hop in it, let's see if we can find anything. All right guys, nothing looks too out of the ordinary here. Let's just go in order and let's hope that there's something in here. Guys, I'm just gonna, what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna cut to the ones if there's a silver in it. That way you guys don't have to see all the, the process of me going through each one. So I'm gonna edit it when I find something, hopefully it's soon. Guys, it looks like we got a proof in the second roll. 2005. Some people don't hold on to their proofs. I actually really, really enjoy the proofs. I might give this one away on like a giveaway if my subscriber count gets up. Maybe I'll do like a 500 subscriber giveaway and I'll include some of these. So I'm definitely going to hold on to this. I'll put that aside and uh, hopefully we find something else. Wow, guys, it looks like we got another proof right here. This is our fifth roll of the box. Awesome. I actually, like I said earlier, I definitely like holding on to these proofs. Guys, this is our third proof of the box. This is our eighth roll. I've never found this many in one box. This is a 1976. That's incredible. I definitely couldn't tell if this was a proof or not. Just because I couldn't see the mint mark as I was looking through the camera. But yes, this is our fourth proof of the box. And this is our 11th roll. We found four proofs in one box. There's so much shining edges in this. I'm definitely not finding any silver so far, but proofs are cool too. Guys, this is another one. The edge looks really, really thick. And it is. 1981 proof coin. To those who don't know what proof is, a proof coin is a coin minted in San Francisco. And it's a mirrored, a mirrored, um, like, background. And the, um, like, a uh, cloudy Kennedy head. So like if you look at just like a normal coin, you can tell the difference. You can see how this one's shinier than this one and like the backs, like that one is mirrored as you can see. And then this one is not. And you can tell by the mint mark. This one is Philadelphia mint, which is, there is no mint mark. And then this one is San Francisco, which is that little S. They come in like a collector set, and that's, uh, I guess people break into them and try to spend it, and that's how they come into circulation. In my first video, I um, didn't really know anything about it, so then people actually informed me on it, which was really cool. 2006 NIFC. I um, definitely, I think I'm going to hold on to these. A lot of people are saying that, you know, they are worth holding on to. I'll put it aside for now. I might end up just throwing it back like the other videos. But this is 2015. I didn't find too many of these yet. This 
edge looks really thick again, guys. Nope. But this one does. Wow. 94 proof coin. I'm really hoping some of these proofs start turning into silver. That would be really cool. If I start finding the eight proof coins. Guys, what do you think of these two? Thinking we may have another proof. 2,000 proof. Oh, this one's not a proof. Oh, another one's cool. Wow, 1984 proof. I think this was definitely someone's like proof collection. And I think somebody snuck into grandpa's collection and uh, dumped it. That's all right, their collection will become my collection. Guys, it's been a long time, but I think we finally have some silver. And guys, this is our 23rd roll of the box. 1964, a beautiful 90%. I think I've done like three or four boxes and I haven't found anything, so it's so relieving to see some silver. Guys, that's halfway through this box. So I have one silver. And I have a bunch of proofs. I'm hoping to find some more, a little bit more of this and a little less of this. Guys, I think that's silver. And it's another 64. Beautiful. 264 so far, guys. And a lot of proofs to go with it. And a 2004 NIFC. Throw that up there. 2002 NIFC. Another proof, guys. This is a 2002 proof coin. Beautiful. I love looking at those proof coins. It's interesting to know what made that person want to crack into that. Was it just the fact that they didn't know? Or maybe they were, you know, in a sort of a bind and they needed it? But that's one thing about coins that fascinates me. Is, you know, how many people held these coins? Like, even this 64. How many people held on to this? Who held on it? Does somebody famous hold on to it? Was somebody in power? Who knows? Guys, I am hoping that that's another one. And it is a... 40% 1969 third silver of the box nineteen ninety eight proof guys this box is insane. I've never, again, I've never seen this many proofs in a box. It's absolutely amazing to me. With a 2012. Just think, when this coin was made, everybody was thinking the world was gonna end.
What do you guys think of that? Is that a proof and a silver right next to each other? So let's check this one first. Nope, not a proof. 74. Let's check this. 66, 40% silver. Guys, that is our second 40% of two 90%. Maybe a proof right here. <laughs> Again, 2006 proof. Wow. I wish I kept all this organized right here. That way we can keep track, but I, I, I'm still there. Wow. A 2004 proof. Two proofs in the same roll. Guys, another proof coin, 1971. Everyone just keeps looking better and better. This is our last roll. Wow, guys, in our last roll, this is looking like two proofs and a silver. Let's start top to bottom. Is this a proof? Nineteen ninety seven proof. Second proof right here. Wow, nineteen eighty proof. This is absolutely insane. And this is why we're here. It, it, this isn't proof, Cody. Silver Cody. And it's a 1964. A little dirty, but it's still silver. Guys, this was absolutely the most productive box that I've ever had. I found 15 proof coins in this box. I love holding all of these proof coins, so I'm glad I found all of these. It's very, very exciting. I found 15 proofs, and I found five silvers. Three of them are 90%, the other two are 40s, and I found eight NIFCs. The NIFCs I might throw back. I might start collecting them as well, but I'm definitely keeping everything else. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please comment on it. Tell me what you like. Tell me if you guys hold on to your NIFCs as well. Some people do, some people don't. I'm curious to see who of my viewers do hold on to them. Thanks for watching, guys, and as always, happy hunting.